He's, he's got that movement speed character. where he's allowed to just not interact with you unless he wants to. C correct, but the, the there's, <laughs> there's a, you can distinguish between there's the layers. Way your playstyle of Sonic means and Zelda means in a sense that Sonic like an onion has the opportunity to be creative, while Zeldas do not. <laughs> okay, getting into this match, we have Sonic <laughs> <being> versus. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Yeah. Uh, really uh, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not trying to say that Sonic's like Sonic mains are bad or anything. I, I could give a crap. But it's just like I, I, it's hard to distinguish like really great Sonic play from really bad Sonic play. I don't know. I'm sure you can be creative with the character though. All right. Anyway, so game one got PS2. It's got quite a lot of space. Both of these characters like having space. Uh, you know, Sonic wants to be able to reset the neutral, uh, as, you know, whenever he needs to, and Zelda needs some time to set up. Also, the fact that those platforms on the stage they can act as uh, nice little roofs over her head to protect as she's setting up, so that people can't come down with an aerial. They'll have to like wait and try and space and time to pass through it or whatever, and try and like thread the needle in their approach. Okay, Sonic being trying to laugh at him. Who? Oh! Uh, yeah, there's nothing really much you can do there. Kind of trapped him there. There's a ton of freeze frames there, wow. <laughs> it's so long. Alright. Began putting out the Phantom Knight. Um. Okay. Uh, three stocks to one out of nowhere. Um, gotta go fast somehow. Uh. Sarah doesn't play in this game so pretty good so far. I'm just trying to make some options a little bit. Like Zelda's definitely like the poster child for the main character, but like when she's played really effectively, she can be really hard to like beat that one thing that she's really good at. Every time Sonic Team tries to go in, he just gets trapped by that Phantom Knight, and then all of a sudden he leaves himself open for with punches. It'd be a little bit of a struggle. The Phantom Knight is literally a moving wall. It is so absurd, <laughs> like how good it is, honestly. Like, I don't even know, like, what to do, what to even say about it. Uh. Right, I mean, that said, I thought that fairy was kind of cool. He oh went my for it! I thought that he was very cool too, unfortunately did not kill him, but for it. I appreciate the raid on the down air. That was pretty good, and... Was that Inspire? Jeez. It was Inspire, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I felt like it was a lot stronger than it probably should have been. <laughs> is that max range? Isn't it like the range is like way longer than that and it's only like super strong at like max or is it just because he's in the middle of it I guess? Uh, let's see. Um, here, let's see it here. I mean, keep in mind Sonic is... Light. No, it wasn't even like a max range. I mean, yeah, it, but like, it was also like 30? right next yeah. to the blast zone anyway. Yeah. There's a balloon physics nonsense where it's like, yeah, no, a character will just like... Balloon physics is like one of the weirdest like additions in this game series. Where it makes things more like pass pace and it makes doubles like combos much harder. And it also does stuff like that where you're like, oh this character went super fast the blast. Amazing. Ready? I shall return in a moment. All right, going to Kalos. Pretty standard Sonic pick. Uh, let's see what he can do with it. We have battlefield uh, ceiling and walls, so like he can live pretty long. And the fact that like he's gonna try and like use like spin jump to kind of like if he needs to make time to get away, he can take advantage of those platforms and just kind of like blast away. But right now we're not seeing any of that. And they're just kind of getting that early percent on. Oh, okay, almost trapped the uh, the wake up roll. It's off by just a little bit. I like the patience. 
mm -hmm. like just staying in shield, letting him out, letting his like aerials go out first. Yeah, you don't just gotta push. force, you don't gotta make people like, you don't gotta try and stuff it. Alright, but uh, Sardo gonna take that first stock with, again, a Din's Fire off the side on the edge guard. I think Font Sonic Fiend might want to like try and mix up uh, how he's recovering and maybe like start recovering high. It's like, yeah, that leaves you open for her to try and like trap with an up air or something, but Sonic has like so much movement that I think it's it would be worth it. Uh, I think he'd be able to try and clear those sorts of sort of situations. Yeah, he could definitely mix up these like recoveries on the platform. Like he could up the pass the platform with yeah. land and then just stay safe. He's forward smashing so much. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty uh, low commitment move. Just put it out there. It's really big. Careful. Oh my god. I thought he was just going to go straight for the ledge, and I was like, that would probably be safe. And then he went past. I'm like, you're going to get swiped. But actually, he was able to dodge it. All right. Didn't get much. Um, Just wasting time, but able to get the follow-up out of it, I guess. <laughs> Ooh, the Phantom might completely messed up the spin dash. There you go. It's the kill. Hmm, probably bad DI. Yeah, once again, it's like every time he hits the Phantom Knight, he just doesn't get his combos, he doesn't get his hits. Really screw him over here. Interesting spin dash at ledge. Here's the neutral get up. You get much off the bow. Woo. The aggressive uh, teleport recovery. Yeah. It's a really good tool. Yeah. Like, you'll, you'll see Zelda's a lot. Instead of up being just sweet spot ledge, they'll try to, like, mm -hmm. up B and then let go of the stick and then sweet spot. Punched it right off the ledge. I think is actually playing the match right at the beginning of that stock. Pretty much what you have to do is you have to let Zelda kind of just throw out the Phantom Knight so that way her shield, it's basically a, a moving wall. Um, you kind of just have to let that fade out and then go into your punch. If you try to go in as the Phantom Knight is out, then you're dead. That was beautiful. Catching the ear dodge, getting a bunch of damage. Then down, Sonic Fiend is closely, he, he's pushing it a little bit. Oh god, please, let's not hit Zelda's shield. She wants you to do that so that you will explode. But he did end up missing on the, the forward air. And that went to kill the cross the stage, especially on Talos, but like, do you really want to make it that much easier? All right, that was actually a cute little mix right there. It didn't work out, but I appreciate it nonetheless. The effort there was good. Oh my god, he ended up actually rising out of <gasps> homing attack range. Oh, jeez. We're, we're committing <laughs> to too so many things, rich. people. We're committing to too many things. <laughs> Stop! <Just> over <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> Alright, good. Uh, it's a classic uh, thing that Zelda will go for. Oh my god, I don't like these homing attacks at all. <laughs> The whole thing attacks are a little bit risky, but they, they could work out. I, w I would just say, yeah, exactly. Just, just spin dash what? and jump. Spin dash, jump. How did he not get hit by the knight? 
<laughs> you see, he's fast. Okay. Okay, just, yeah, exactly. Just let the Phantom Knight come out. Uh, and then uh, just go uh, oh, in, in the there you go. Did, did Sourdough, like, actually drop his shield there? He might have. Like, maybe he started a roll. It's possible. Because, like, it only locks on when you're tangible. So, like, when you're intangible or invincible, it doesn't. Let's let's take a look. I think he actually did drop shield. Let's see here. All right. Okay, let's see. Oh, I can't. Let's look at that again. Uh, this is hard to tell. We might need to let go. I think it might have just straight up poked. Probably did, because I would imagine that if he just let go of shield, it would be a parry. So I would imagine, yeah, that was just holding shield. Yeah, that just poked the shield. All right. Well, goddamn, Sonic Fiend uh, got really lucky with, uh, for it, because that was not that was not an unhealthy shield, honestly. And uh, well, he wouldn't have gotten necessarily punished for like hitting shield. It's a pretty safe move on block. But, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, yeah, it just kind of just got the kill happened. I think we're going back to Cal. No, we're going back to PS2. Two, one, go! Stage. Pretty understandable. Um, you know, just wants that horizontal space, but with a normal ceiling. Um, and, like, the, the ledge, the blast zone, I, I'm pretty sure, like, normal on this stage so it's also like just all around the stages the blast zones are closer just the one thing to note is that the cross stage is still pretty far because ps2 is so large <laughs> um but you know we don't normally see zelda with kills going cross stage so yeah and she probably just wants a little bit more space than kalos especially with like the positioning of the platforms on this stage uh, them being like more on the stage itself uh, definitely can be pretty helpful. But you know, Sonic Fiend pulling ahead with a pretty uh, solid lead right now. If he's able to either secure the kill or just like keep the slow game going, uh, he could stay in a pretty good position. He just needs to maintain patience. Like, I think the problem is that he keeps going in when he doesn't need to. It's like just over commitment over over commitment. And it's like he doesn't need to do that. All he has to do is yep. stay patient. Catch him the fine. jump. Oh and oh. turn around on the lead there. Ooh, just just <laughs> smashes that skin dash. Oh my god, oh. this is going oh. Sonic Spin! <laughs> this is so unfortunate. Sonic Fiend had such like a solid lead in the beginning of this game, but hasn't been able to secure the kill, and, on, and Sarado's just like turning those inches into miles. Finally gonna kill him off the top with that uh, rising back air. But still a full stock deficit uh, that he has to deal with here. He's at like 60, I think. That's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, once you're on your last stock, it's a little bit of a struggle. Now it's like, if he plays patient, it might not work out for him. I mean, he can... It's definitely in the realm of possibility, just because like the way he was able to pull away in the beginning of the game is just like, just get those right hits in, get that good damage, and like, you can turn around, even if you have some damage already on your last stock, as long as it's not too, too high, you can potentially turn it around. True. He's taking it slow, and I appreciate that. You know, that's what you want to see. But, oh boy, is it spooky. I'm glad I'm not saying too many, like, Zelda neutral bees. Like, that gets, that gets annoying. <laughs> because it's like, it's now... In it's invincible for 11 frames, starting at frame 4. Yeah, frame 4, it's just ridiculous. Like, if you're in disadvantage, all of a sudden you knock an opponent uh -oh. away and they're off stage and it's death. Oh my god! Speaking of death. Nice. That's not. Oh my. Uh. That's 
a little bit too much, but that's okay. It's damage. All right, good, good. I good. always, I good. always like it when people go off stage to go punish the charging Zelda. It's like, oh, they're not gonna come out here. It's like, dummy. All right, <laughs> 130 damage. This is a very difficult situation. Oh my God, stop! Oh. All right, able to oh. uh, slip on out of that. Very nice, good situation. Nice little taunt. <laughs> just being like, oh. no he knows his he knows he has his work cut out for him. So he's just like, god damn. Wow. Uh oh. And don't uh -oh. hit the shield. Out of shield, rising for him. Such an annoying thing to deal with. Out of shield, yeah, it's death. Here's where we had like such a good start here, and then like he he eats like what a forward air, a fair or bear towards there it is. Yeah, like, fair. And in second block, I think it was bear. Yeah. <laughs> Those moves are identical, right? Like. Caught in there, and then I think Bear is slightly stronger. I wouldn't be surprised. Bear is usually one of uh, a character's like some of their stronger moves. And here's where he's finally able to take a uh, stock. Really cool situation there. So I can't stay, but uh, next stay. up is going to be Pokefan Fan versus uh, Joshathan, and okay. they're also going double red. Hilarious. Okay. Yeah, I know this high integrity Wi Fi bracket is to be corrupted by this. I'm really pissed too. Okay, bye. Bye. Have a good one. Alright, so I'm uh, from this point I'm on. I'm so sad. <laughs> now I'm really sad. 